our Germany and the European Union. In this film, we will illustrate some important factors which influence the future of adolescence in Germany. Let's get an overview. In terms of area, Germany is the fourth largest country in the European Union. It makes up one twelfth of the total area. The population of Germany is represented by these 10 figures, while the other 52 represent the rest of the European Union. But how does it look like when only the 15 to 24 year old people are considered? Yes, you see it right there is one person for Germany and just five adolescents for the whole rest of the European Union. So first of all, we would like to take a look at the different numbers of early school leavers. It is obvious that Germany's rate is on average with 10%, while Croatia has the lowest rate with 3%. Romania and Spain have the highest number of early school leavers. Is this rate of early school leavers related to the number of unemployed adolescents? One cannot say it's that way in general, because with a share of 5.6%, Germany has a low rate of unemployed adolescents in spite of a medium rate of early school leavers, and the number is much higher in Croatia. As a consequence, you can say that these factors influence each other in a way, but apparently there are other factors which influence these factors and consequently also the future of the adolescents. For example, many students want to travel before getting a job, so it is important for them to speak many different languages. But in Germany, only 16% of the students are able to speak two foreign languages, while it is in Portugal 53%, in Spain there are just 8% of the students able to do this. But how do the German adolescents view the European Union? This might be surprising now, but in fact they see the European Union in a very positive way. Only 9% would vote for an exit of their country if they had the chance. 